Hi, I'm Rashmi and I'm going to tell you a yoga story today. What is a yoga story? A yoga story is just like any other story, but every time you see the screen and if you see a yoga pose pop up on your screen, you have to copy the yoga pose. So today we're going to do the story of Lulu the locust. Do you know what a locust is? A locust is just like a grasshopper. It's just slightly different. Now Lulu the locust was all alone and very very lonely. Lulu the locust didn't have any friends. So Lulu the locust decided to go hopping around to see if she could find some friends. She went and hopped up to the top of a tree. While she hopped up to the top of a tree, she saw a bat. This flying bat was actually hanging upside down and he was fast asleep because that's what bats do during the day, right? So Lulu the locust went up to the bat and she said, Excuse me, hello Mr. Bat. This bat didn't wake up, so she started poking him. She said, Excuse me, Mr. Bat. Hello. Mr. Bat slowly opened his wings out and he looked at Lulu the locust. He said, Whoa, Let me sleep, Lulu. I'm fast asleep, don't you know? I'm a nocturnal animal and I like to sleep during the day. Lulu the locust was very sad that Mr. Bat refused to even talk to her. But she said, that's okay, I'm gonna go find another friend. So Lulu the locust went hopping around everywhere that she could. She still couldn't see anybody outside. She saw a long bridge. So Lulu the locust went hoppity, 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 hop along this long bridge and at the end of the bridge she saw a very very beautiful turtle the turtle had just come out of the water and Lula the locust went hoppity hop close to the turtle and she said oh hello mr turtle i've been waiting to see somebody will you be my friend i want to play with you now the turtle looked at lulu and she said Oh, Lulu the locust, I am so old. I am almost 100 years old. I don't think I can play with you, Lulu. I don't have enough energy. So Lulu the locust was sad again. She decided to go hoppity, 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 hop. She still didn't give up. She said, I'm going to find this friend to play with. Lulu went across the plains, across the lakes, and she saw a lake which had a beautiful lotus pond. There were so many lotus flowers blooming all over the lotus pond. She went hoppity hop on all the different lotus flowers when she saw a big crocodile lying very, very still in the water. So Lulu the locust went on her tippy toes, went very slowly towards the crocodile and she said, hey, excuse me, Mr. Crocodile. Will you please play with me and be my friend? The crocodile was just in the middle of finding prey to eat. So the crocodile got very, very upset. He said, shh, shh, don't disturb me. I'm very, very busy. I'm trying to find something so that I can eat it up. So Lulu the locust said, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Mr. Crocodile. I'll go find somebody else to play with. So Lulu the locust went hopping back on the lotus flowers. She went out of the pond and she still didn't give up. She decided to go find somebody else to play with. Lulu the locust traveled far away. She saw a boat sailing through the ocean and she sat on the boat and the boat went everywhere. It went over the waves, it went under the waterfalls and she traveled and she traveled far and wide. While she was on her journey, Lulu the locust spotted somewhere far away playing very close to the foothills of the mountain a beautiful dog this dog looked so happy and he was playing all by himself so Lulu the locust went closer towards the dog and she looked at the dog she was not very sure if she should ask the dog because she had asked so many people but everybody had rejected her so Lulu the locust went with caution and she looked at the dog and she said excuse me mr dog hi I've looked all over for a friend to play, but nobody wants to play with me. Would you want to play with me? The dog was so happy and so overjoyed. He looked at Lulu the locust. He said, of course, Lulu, I've been waiting for somebody to play with, but I haven't seen anybody out here. I'm so happy I found you. 
From then on, Lulu the locust and Dobby the dog were very happy with each other. They would play with each other every day. Lulu the locust would stand on top of Dobby and he would take her around everywhere. And that is the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed the story of Lulu the locust and I hope you find many 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 friends to play with. Thank you for watching this yoga story. I'll see you soon. Bye.